everyone this is XRath here with another how to video if you would call it that today I am going to be showing you uh, a few little tips and tricks on YouTube to help you more or less get a little bit more subscribers and views now as you can see I only have five uh, 126 views but it doesn't mean you can't take even a little bit of advice from uh, me because I could be higher than you I could be lower but it's up to you guys if you want to continue watching this video but today I'm going to show you some stuff now people are usually asking well why can't my YouTube video why isn't it seen as much as other people's why if someone types in my exact title I am it's coming up for other people with something not as even close to my title but as more views and slightly up there more than we are well there's one other thing to this now tags tags are a very important part of your video I'm gonna go to my video manager right here just to show you guys if I ever load it up just to show you guys a few little things that I try to do I'm not the best at tagging but I bet you guys will don't worry about duplicate failed it's don't worry about that now let's see here um let's go to my first world of warships video okay we're gonna go to edit now in here we all know this when we upload a video I'll get to uploading quality in a minute but here was one of my first videos I thought this was a really neat picture so I used it as my thumbnail you guys don't have to you can make your own pictures as I did for most of my World of Warships videos that did not have a cool thumbnail like this one the first thing you're gonna do is get good tags now YouTube you can basically put it in every single one of yours because you're on YouTube now huge amounts of random tags that don't have anything to do with your video will actually be negative against your video because if you put something weird here it can actually bring the score down which right here is telling me it's a little thing I have on my computer it tells me my views everything past 48 hours here it is right here you guys should be able to find us somewhere in here uh, I'll probably do another video on how to set all that up it isn't typically hard it tells you your score out of a hundred I'm only doing 37 which really isn't the best but it's better than some of my other videos on my first YouTube channel which was I went back and tested around 10 without me knowing what I was doing and I had one that was labeled as one, literally one <laughs> well first of all you're going to, have to put some decent tags now I have some music in this video here mainly background music I built I um, added in from the game itself you need to put the game's name which is a really big part you can also split the name of the game up see world and then of and then war and then I put ships and then world of warships I mean warships which got quite a bit I put also you should always put your name and my name is currently was is ranked eighth if you search it now you're going to put what type of game let's play gameplay gaming episode one sea ocean guns fires bombs stuff that is typical to this game now wrecking well I wrecked my ship I uh, wrecked quite a bit of other people I wrecked myself but the other good thing about this is you have a keyword inspector and it's free this whole thing's free you can upgrade and pay for a better version of it but the free version is good enough to help you with so much things it tells you what you can do here which I haven't done at all I've shared to Twitter I'm actually better to share this to Facebook I haven't got a comment unfortunately but I don't suggest you put YouTube first like I did here put the name of the game itself first and it'll come up right here when you have uh, video IQ basic it will give you suggestions to put right there and it will give you other YouTube videos that can help you understand your tags more in depth so basically you put stuff that happens in the game you don't you don't put what you were talking about you put stuff that typically always happens in the game no matter what like warships games typically every single match has a torpedo fired at somebody now fires ships burn gameplay you want to put gameplay let's play stuff like this it sounds repetitive but it is really helpful and I hope you guys take my advice and another way to up your views and everything else is about most of all the views come from people sharing your YouTube channel to someone else now I didn't want to put this on my actual Facebook and uh, Google Plus and Twitter so when I made this account you just sign in with the same account on Google Plus and it gives you it automatically Twitter you sign up and all I do 
click here and here and it shares every single one of my videos to Twitter and uh, Google Plus automatically. Google Plus accounts for 40% of my views and Twitter accounts for another 30% of my views and Google Plus is 50% of all of my shares. That's a lot. That is a lot of stuff that you can get there. Now you can make your title. Try to make it slightly interesting. Mine's not the best either. So that's pretty basic things you can do there. Now the other thing is people don't want poor quality. That's kind of obvious. People don't want poor quality videos. They don't want people talking. Here I'm going to give you an example. Talking like this the whole time. They want them to be upbeat. Um, excited. They want you to seem more or less robust so just act like you're talking a little bit louder than you usually would you act um, a little bit more funny <laughs> sometimes you laugh at your own jokes um, sounds sad but sometimes but it really does help because if you guys really look back on other youtubers it's what they really actually do even the really big ones like PewDiePie all of them stuff like that so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you my OBS now if you guys need help I have tutorials on 1080p but everyone's computer is different so if you can't run 1080p I also got one on 720p and then I also got one how you can check your computer's bits and oh what is it and fix your audio now I'm gonna show you audio in this one right here because it's pretty simple you go yourself mixer now you see this this is at 2000% I am talking slightly louder than my inside voice, just a little bit, but for you guys to hear me how I am on normal, I would have to be screaming at my mic. So if you turn this up to whatever you really need it to be, your voice will be louder even though you're not talking louder, which can be really helpful for people hearing you in video so you don't sound like you're all quiet and stuff. You, you following me? Now first thought, you need to get 1080p videos and or 720p. I will leave a link in the description on how to do that and once you see it you guys will easily get it like that. Now I'm going to show you a couple of my settings for audio really quick because people don't want blurry audio. First of all I'm also going to put a link of OBS in here. If you aren't recording with OBS use it because that's what basically almost every YouTuber uses that doesn't have a capture card or paid for a program. It gets you, I've seen people OBS recording up to 4K so if you do it right you can handle it I do all the tut um, tutorials easy quick everything first of all you're gonna go to I believe output and go to audio I have mine turned up to 320 you only have to turn up one track if you're using more than one track turn them all up because this is really helpful because um, the lower this is the lower your audio quality you can only turn up to 320 audio Sample rate, keep it at 48 hertz. It can go down to 41.1, I mean 44.1, keep it there. Put your mic here. Make sure you don't have a janky mic, but the higher that quality is, the better that mic is going to be anyways. Because I got, as you can see, a Blue Snowball, which is owned by Yeti. And it's a pretty decent mic, and it only cost me 45 bucks for the whole mic. It looks sleek, has a steel and aluminum frame, and it's got a plastic little ball on here. And it says on Snowball. So, you know, it records pretty well. It, it could be better, but for its price, it's doing pretty well. Video, you guys don't need to see this really yet. That'll be for my other videos, but I am gonna give you a general thing. If you guys first download OBS, it doesn't look like mine. What's going on? Does he have something different? It could be the case. I have OBS Studio, which is also free. All the OBSs are free, every single one, no matter what. I suggest OBS Studio because it's the newest one and that's where all their resources are going to updating and making it better every single time. Now here's what it'll look like when you first get it. It's gonna look white and stuff like this. I don't really like this color because sometimes it can blend into the background and everything. I do keep mine on dark because it's also it feels easier on your eyes. You know what I mean? Don't worry about any of that. Uh, recording this you guys can pause and re, um, you know put some of this stuff down I usually put out all my videos in 720 I can do 1080p but it usually takes about two hours longer and my Wi-Fi really isn't the best so I'm gonna go check to make sure I covered everything okay I do not have any unchanged savers savers I can't English now but that ain't it you also need to increase your subscribers 
Now, go to videos that say how to get 10 subscribers overnight, how to get 10 subscribers every day, something like that. And down there, there'll be people asking, hey, if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. Take that. I did the exact same thing, and I got two, I got two more subscribers in about 20 seconds, I think, just instantly. It was really helpful. But the best comment you can leave is not just to subscribe because now that person only sees you. The best thing you can do is say subscribe to me, I subscribe to you, you share one of my videos on your social media and I share one of yours on mine. If you keep your end of the bargain, you have more people rolling in and always reply to the comments to make sure you know you got it and everything. So without ado, let's go back to my channel right here. Uh, there we go. Now, the best types of videos there really are now is how-to videos. How-to videos are great and are very helpful. Like, if you look up how-to videos, there's so many searches, it's unbelievable. So, see, I don't got much views on these because these weren't released too long ago, blah, blah, blah. See, um, down here I got some, oh god, I can't even know where I put my stuff anymore. I got so many of these episodes, I don't think a couple people caught up yet. See, 17, 13, stuff like that. And you guys always have to remember, it takes time. Now, these are my gaming videos. Look at my how-to videos. 24, 16, 29. Earlier today, this was at 14. My views on this video right here and here and this one are skyrocketing, and I get most of my comments and shares off of these videos. Now, you want to keep your um, t channel to a specific audience so you seem like you're loyal to gaming and stuff like that. I do a mix a little bit. I do gaming and how-to. I don't really spread off too far from gaming and how-to because that's really where I want to stay and that's the audience I want to keep track of. These videos right here, the only reason I really do do how-to videos is because OBS is what I use to record every single video on my channel. And with it updated, the brand new update that came out, there wasn't very many videos for it. And uh, I was looking through it. I had to fill around with my settings for hours, and I didn't want anyone else to go through that struggle. So I released these videos to help anyone in need, and I will continue to release these videos every time there is another major update. So without that, with that all out of the way, the best thing for you really to do is to share your videos. Uh, subscribe to our people, tell them to share your videos, and they subscribe to you and they share yours. Make sure you have good quality and I will leave a link to OBS and I'll try to find a link to Video IQ for all of you. So without ado, I thank you all for watching this video and I hope you come and see me next time. If you guys got any questions on your OBS, please leave a comment down here. If you want to subscribe to me, leave a comment down there saying you subscribed and shared one of my videos and I'll subscribe and share one of your videos back and I will keep that promise. And if I and if you guys don't believe me on that, you can just un well you can just unsubscribe to my channel then cuz if I don't I'm not making anything. So, thank you all for watching. Please like and share this video and I thank you all for your time.